Hundreds of video games feature toilets, but only a small elite number of them allows the player to interact with the toilet. When games first started doing this, it was boring. Uh, much better. Some games took it to the next level. In Haunting Starring Poltergeist, you can possess a toilet and then a poop demon appears. In that rising, the toilet is your save point. No More Heroes did the same thing one year later. In Fallout 3, you can drink from the toilet. In Bioshock Infinite, you can eat from the toilet. In Saints Row 3, you are the toilet. Toilet. But that's not enough. None of these games provide a fully immersive video game toilet experience. Some of the most brilliant minds of our times pose the question, how can we recreate the intimacy and comfort of a toilet? How can we make the players feel like they're really in a toilet? Humanity came up with three video games. Enter Boogerman. This Sega Mega Drive game called Boogerman, a peek and flick adventure, might focus more on the gross, but I don't want you to stray away from the sanctity of the toilet. Look at how many frames of animation Boogerman has coming in and out of the toilet. When you go to your own bathroom furthermore, you really appreciate all of the sounds that surround the experience in a video game this should also be the case. And thankfully the audio department in Boogerman is covered by Matt Furness, who is not only an Amiga veteran, but the undisputed god of Mega Drive or Sega Genesis soundtracks. But in Boogerman, you don't really do all that much inside the toilet. They're just teleports. So you can probably hold your breath through that, right? In the Capcom RPG for the Super Nintendo Breath of Fire 2, early on you were given the item Guild. This story goes exactly the way you're thinking. Later you walk into a bathroom where a girl is vomiting in the toilet. She also drops a ring into it that you have to fetch back. So you go into the toilet and <laughs> it's a whole dungeon. <laughs> You then get to the ring, but it starts floating away, so you, you go around and you get it back and you successfully complete a quest inside a toilet. Much later in the game, a guy is trying to escort you out of town, which of course happens through a toilet. This time you actually fight inside of the toilet dungeon, and it's not just some fight, you actually kill cancer. In all this, the beauty is that the game doesn't even seem to acknowledge this toilet meme, thus successfully capturing the comforting mundanity of a visit to the toilet. And you might think that's it. It doesn't possibly get any better than that. Well, it is a honor for me to tell you that it does indeed get better. That the toilet dream lives on. Meet my friend, Duke. Damn, I'm looking good. The toilets in the Duke Nukem franchise are well known for their interactivity. The Sega Saturn version of Duke Nukem 3D, however, features an exclusive level that you can only access through a secret area. The secret level's name is Uria 51. <laughs> You're held by a hook and sent through a number of contraptions, not only killing monsters, but toilets too. Finally, a divine sight appears before you, a giant toilet in space. You drop into it and realizing that three-dimensional games were not a mistake after all, you once again feel whole, as if you're being called into your mother's womb. Third times the charm and humanity has done well this time. For more toilet enlightenment, watch this video next so you too can one day be one of our great minds. Ciao.